Hello everybody, and welcome to my cooking channel. I'm the Macedonian cook. And what are you making today? Today, we're going to make a Canadian classic dating back many, many years. The good old-fashioned butter tart. Right now, we're just going to hop into it and start making the filling. We're going to put in our lovely brown sugar. Just mix this up quick, and voila. Nice and fine. I use honey. I don't use corn syrup. And we're just going to dump that right into the bowl there. The next thing we're going to put in is our melted butter that we brought back to room temperature. And we'll just pour that right in. The next thing, our eggs. The last thing that we have to put in here is our vanilla. Now, a lot of recipes call for corn syrup but personally I prefer honey ladies and gentlemen there we have it our filling for the butter tarts. Ready to go. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the pie crust that we've made in another video. And we're about to finish off our lovely butter tarts. Now, I decided to get my little one bite out, two bites, whatever you want to call them. Apparently I have a big mouth and there's half bites for me, not even one bite or two bites. Perfect, so I'll just make a couple of these quick. Whoops. So how many do we need? Mm -hmm. Or eight, 12 of them. Might have to roll some more out. Oops. Alrighty, we're going to have a little fun here in our little pan. I'm just going to put them in like this. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We are going to build our lovely butter tarts. That's our lovely filling. Ooh. Okay, perfect. So here we go. We're going to fill each one of these lovely butter tarts up. Takes a little care. We don't get it all. 
all over the place. Oh my. And what I did was with the raisins, just like when you're making tea, boil a pot of hot water and in a bowl, put your raisins in the hot water to soften them up a little bit. That way they are nice and chewy inside the butter tarts and not hard little rocks. People are wondering if it's uh, pecans. But no, they are raisins. What we're going to do is we're just going to use a little spoon here put a little bit of butter tart filling inside oops well right, you know what let's let's bake it off Anyways, um, <laughs> we have uh, uh, two different types of toppings. Uh, we have glossette, chocolate covered raisins, and we have our regular raisins that we soaked in some boiling water. So all I'm going to do here is put a couple of raisins in each one. And we'll leave those plain. So... Our first row. Now, something that I do. Some people wonder why do you go through so much trouble to put the exact same amount in. Well, part of my whole stick is I like something and I want it to be the same every single time. So that's why I do it in this specific order. Like I remember when I was younger and I didn't have any patience. I basically would just throw everything in together, mix it up. And well, some would have one raisin, some would have... 10 raisins. That was not acceptable in the baking oven. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these ones are done. I'm going to throw them into the oven and we will be back to join you to show you the final product momentarily. All righty, everyone, welcome back. The butter tarts are finished. I baked them at 350 for about 10 minutes. The last five to six minutes, I turned on the broiler and finished them off to give them that lovely crunchy top here. So I'm going to pull one of these out. Hopefully I don't break it. Is there any specific one that you would like to try? Would you like to try it with the, um, the raisins, the glossettes, or just plain? Mm -hmm. Plain. Just a plain one? Alrighty, so I'm going to try to get one of these ay, 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 lovely butter tarts out here for you. And 
I will show everybody how they turned out. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, join us for more videos, and don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for joining us, everyone.